So what we have here is a fairly singular and isolated uh, Weiss ring variant floater. It's kind of like a flake of sorts. I can just kind of open it up a little bit like a like a sail that gets unfurled. So the Weiss rings, you can actually approach them um, kind of systematically, which is just start at the outside edge and kind of work your way in, whatever edge, it doesn't matter, just find the edge, kind of work your way in, rather than divide and conquer and divide into a bunch of small pieces and chase a lot of small pieces around. And this will stay fairly organized and fairly intact until maybe about halfway through or three quarters of the way through. And It'll start uh, breaking up and it'll be a little harder to chase after. <clears throat> the laser will also kind of push the floater posterior or backwards. And as it starts to work its way further back, we'll do a little maneuver to shake it and bring it forward again. We'll do that in just a few moments here. down and then quickly back to light area and there it is right there Each shot of the laser is probably creating hundreds and hundreds of microscopic little, it's like little scattered, just thousands of little bubbles mm -hmm. all over the place. Uh, many of them will just sort of resort, or, you know, sorry, dissolve before they even get to the roof of the eye. So you're not going to have millions of little tiny microscopic floaters. They'll kind of coalesce and you'll end up with maybe, you know, tens or even hundreds or something like that. But they'll dissolve very quickly. And yeah, sometimes there's just like entire clouds of sort of vaporized gases. main floater is basically destroyed now. I just kind of go into cleanup mode and, and go after the little bits and pieces and fragments that can kind of separate it all scattered. This is where my laser treatment obsessive compulsive disorder sort of kicks in. Good enough is not good enough. I really want it to be clean. I didn't. What I did not mention is the influence of having previous LASIK. You know, LASIK, um, in the case of treating people who are nearsighted, which is most of the case, uh, takes a central part of the cornea and, and flattens it. So you'll have a central little button of treated cornea, and then you have kind of a surrounding ring of transition. Uh, to the untouched virgin cornea that's out in the periphery. So it's almost like, like three concentric zones. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this cone of energy for my laser all focused in one place. But if you're passing that through three different zones, it will tend to um, you know, make the, the energy a little bit less organized and mm -hmm. basically deliver less energy. It doesn't deliver it somewhere else, it just delivers less energy. So sometimes the, um, the laser will just feel a little bit weaker or, you know, some of the shots, especially if you start to chase stuff out in the periphery or, or further back posterior, uh, it just won't deliver as much energy. Um, and uh, sometimes you can just really tell, it just feels like you're firing blanks. This doesn't really feel like that. I mean, most, most of the shots here are doing, doing a pretty good job, so I won't, I won't use 
use that. I won't proffer excuses, it's just a lot of stuff to keep. So, to, the, to anybody watching this video, it'll appear like there are some kind of pl translucent, kind of plasticky sheets as I kind of scroll the, the light source kind of left, right, and that is, uh, that's the vitreous cortex. That, as I was describing to you, that's that kind of sh plasticky sheet that pulls away. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the vitreous detachment. That stuff generally does not disturb the vision too much. Uh, and, and so, and it doesn't really respond to treatment very well, so I just generally kind of leave that stuff alone. I'm just looking for more anything denser, anything that's going to give you more of a distinct shadow. And it's cleaned up pretty well. Uh, I know, and just from my experience, that there's going to be bits and pieces to clean up later. Probably, you know, the, at least a second treatment to just kind of go after some of these little things like this stuff here. Uh, some of it may have been shot off way out into the periphery and might kind of work its way a little more centrally. So I may not be able to really see it right now. Um, but you know, just knowing from experience that there's always some of that stuff there. But a lot of the little stuff um, you may not even see at all because the shadows are just going to be too short and not going to cast as long as the original big one there. I try to get everything, but I know I can't. But you don't have to get everything to have good results. Then.